humility is successive. It's progressive. It's digressive. It's a continuing daily thing. The older you get, the more you have to be prideful for. So the older you get, the more you must humble yourselves. Paul is an example. In 1 Corinthians 15, 9, this is the earlier part of his ministry, between AD 53 and 57, he said, For I am the least of the apostles, who am not worthy to be called an apostle, because I persecuted the church of God. Here's a guy who didn't know he was writing over a third of the New Testament. He didn't know it. He's humbling himself, isn't he? Later, he wrote this in his letter to the church in Ephesus, chapter 3, verse 8. To me, this is around AD 60, to me who am less than the least of all the saints, this grace was given, that I should preach among the Gentiles the unsearchable riches of Christ. Now, it's important to know who we are in Christ, right? Right? In Christ, we're more than conquerors. In Christ, we're complete. In Christ, we're adequate. In Christ, we're the righteousness of God. But never forget, those attributes are in Christ. Outside of Christ, we are not these things, right? In fact, the verses we get those truths from primarily are from the writings of Paul. He knew who he was in Christ, but he also knew who he was. And he humbled himself. Thought of himself as the least of the apostles, and then he thought of himself as time went on as the least of the saints. And as he got older, when he was in prison, he called himself Paul, a prisoner of Jesus Christ, and Timothy, our brother, who for love's sake, I rather appeal to you, being such a one as Paul the aged, and now also a prisoner of Jesus Christ. So least of the apostles, least of the saints, prisoner. He's following Christ. To Timothy, he says, in chapter 1, verse 15 of his first letter to him, this is a faithful saying and worthy of all acceptance, that Christ Jesus came into the world to save sinners, of whom I am chief. A couple years before his death, humbling himself rather than exalting himself. Lord, help us to humble ourselves to cheer one another on. And when our pride gets hurt, help us to be alert to that and to be quick to run to you to get freedom. In Jesus' name, amen. You know what helps me when I get hurt by somebody? Somebody has an oversight or they overlook me? I get on my face and say, Lord, where have I done this to somebody? And he shows me. And if he doesn't, I have a family that will tell me if I ask them. <laughs> and that gives grace. It just gives such freedom. Amen. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord cause his face to shine upon you and be gracious to you. May the Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you his peace. The peace that passes understanding. The peace that's based on Calvary's conquest and not on human compromise and the peace that comes when we truly humble ourselves lord may we do this every day this is part of our closing in jesus name amen